We need to keep our eye on Apple here. Up nearly 2% set to snap the longest losing streak in nearly 18 years. The tech giant struggling with declining iPhone sales. That's kind of an old story. But CEO Tim Cook is stressing that, quote, the most important thing is that customers love our products. Ross Gerber has loved a lot of the products, so much so that he's bought about 152,000 Apple shares. The Gerber Kawasaki CEO joining us now. But what, you've lost a million bucks on the stock in just the last week? Yeah, probably at least a million dollars, so we're a little bit upset <laughs> for on the short term. Well, he comes out and he says, well, everybody loves our products. Don't you wish they'd come out with a new sort of game-changing one? Yeah, and that's the problem. The products are wonderful. They're so good that nobody replaces them fast enough, and now sales are going down. And so what they've done is they've made the products too good. Um, and that's a wonderful problem to have if you invent new ones. But if you don't, it's a real big problem for them because this upgrade cycle has really slowed down. Why aren't they making some type of acquisition with that huge cash pile that would go toward, and I'm saying Apple TV because they've tried and cannot quite make it that zeitgeist moment for people who love TV. That would be a lot of people, I would think. Why don't they make an acquisition? You know, you've got all kinds of mergers and acquisitions in the space. Roe v. TiVo. You've got Samsung doing all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Panasonic. I mean, what is Apple doing right now? I think that's the most important issue. You just had Buffett and Munger, two of the greatest acquirers of companies and building value. And Tim needs to take a lesson from these guys. You cannot have $200 billion on the books and do nothing with it for years and expect your business to grow. Look at Disney. They acquired Star Wars. They acquired Pixar. Where would they be without these acquisitions? Marvel. And Apple needs to step up and buy Tesla if they want to be in the car business or buy Netflix if they want to be in the TV business or buy both. And the stock would go to 200 and everybody would be happy. You know, it's interesting you mentioned Buffett. He hates having too much cash on the books. He loves to spend. He just spent $32 right. billion on precision cast parts. All right, let's put Apple aside for a second. We've got just about a minute to go. You like three names here, and I was amazed to see two defense names here, Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman. What's up with defense mm -hmm. that's caught your eye? Well, we've, we started investing in defense about a year ago with obviously the rise of ISIS creating enormous demand for bombs, missiles, and drones. Um, but what's happened over the last year as the U.S. has not invested enough in, in rebuilding and supporting our military as well as our allies, and we now have troops in Iraq. They are now actively fighting in Syria and Iraq. We lost a, a U.S. Navy SEAL today in combat against ISIS, and, 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 and my thoughts are with him. But we need to go in there and fight and bomb these guys and and so military stocks are going to do very well in this environment and also with the bombastic trump out there talking up everything that also supports defense stocks great to see you ross thank you so much and sorry about that that good i hope temporary too, loss in apple stock price for you guys good to see you ross gerber gerber kawasaki the markets while down 136 for the dow had been down 220 it's a day where we have seen the nasdaq lose nine out of ten sessions there's the close